Hello friends, welcome to linuxhelp.com. Today we are going to see how to install config server security and firewall CSF in RHCL, CentOS and Fedora. When it comes to server security, only one thing comes to mind called firewall. Because firewall are much powerful way to add security to server. Now what is CSF? CSF Config Server Security and Firewall is an open source advanced firewall and security application for Linux server. Now we will see how to installing the CSF modules. First install required Perl model for CSF script. Now see this is the installation to Perl script. Now hit enter it will be installing process now you can see the perl hyphen lib ww perl script is installing successfully next we will see downloading csf good idea to use slash tmt directory when downloading or installing new files now go to slash cd slash tmp directory Now you can see this is the source file for csf.gag downloading script file. Now it will be enter. It will be installing ongoing process. Now it will download for csf script file. Next we will see remove existing firewall. Remove if you are using any other IP tables firewall script like APF advanced policy firewall or BFD brute force direction because you should not run both firewall in same server it will be conflicted now you can see this is the format to remove APF.BFD.SH now you can hit enter the file are not installed before so it will not removed so next next we will see installing csf i have already in csf script file in slash tmt so i am um, go to slash tmp file and it enter i have already script file so i will extract that file using tar iphone xzf and space csf script file and hit enter it will extract it now you will go to that path csf and hit enter it will go csf directory and install the csf script using sh install.sh in lower case dot sh now this is the process to install script file it will be ongoing process now you will receive the message installation is completed next we will see configuring csf the above script will installed and starts csf in a testing mode it means it doesn't protect your server from anything now you will need to enable that testing 1 to 0 it will be protected now the default configuration file is slash etc csf slash csf.conf this is the configuration file to editing csf now it will enter you can see the testing mode is in year one you need to enable this so here you can delete and insert zero it will be enabled next you will do the income port 
Next, you will note this point allow incoming TCP port. It will enabled already. It will 20 port and allow out outgoing TCP ports. It is in the default enabling. You note this must enabled and save this file and quit. Next, we will see starting CSF. Now it is ready to start the CSF demo and enable CSF to start at reboot time. Now you will type this command to. Now you will see the command check config double hyphen level 60 second for CSF on it will be restarted and each enter it will be checked and restart the service. You can use service CSF restart or CSF iPhone or I'm using CSF and iPhone or and it enter it will be restarting the service it will be completed to restart next we will see CF CSF configuration option and usage. The following options are used to modify and control CSF configuration. First, csf.conf, the main configuration file for the controlling CSF, and then csf.allow, the list of allowed IPs and CIDR address on the firewall. csf.dna, the file is denied IP address and CADR addresses on the firewall. CSF.ignore This list of ignored IPs and CADR addresses on the firewall. CSF.starignore This list of various ignore files of the user's IP addresses. Note here one thing, you will restart the service if you any changes to configuration file csf.conf you will be restarted the service. Next we will see csf commands in options. Some of the common commands like options to add or deny IP addresses options. First you will see deny IP address options. CSF iPhone D and space IP address. This will be denied to IP address and CSF iPhone A is a space IP address. It will be used to allow an IP address and option iPhone R is used to reload the rules. Now I will show you some example for the adding IP address to rule. Now deny IP address CSF and I pun D D for Dinay and I have a IP address N locally and it enter it will be adding denying IP address you must restart reload the service using CSF iPhone or and hit enter it will reloaded if you want to see the list of uh, rules, you can use CSF iPhone L listing. Now you can go to up. Now you can see the rule. It will be source 7.1.1. It will be deported. Now you can test the file using ping and then IP address. it will be permission denied next we will see how to uh, disable or allow access to the ip address specific ip address now you can use csf iphone a for allow and then the same ip address 192.168.7.101 and hit enter it will be adding in uh, allow IP addresses. Now you can restart the service CSF hyphen R and hit enter. It will restart at the service. You can list the CSF rules hyphen L 
and list go hopper you can see the ip address is allowed list now you can ping the same ip address now it will be pinging if in case you have forgotten csf commands you just type csf on terminal you can type csf it will source the manual page for the csf now you can see the csf manual page it will source you all possible commands to csf next we will see remove csf firewall if you would like to remove csf firewall completely you just run the following script uh, located under slash etc slash csf uninstall that sketch directory now you can type slash etc and then csf and then uninstall that sh if you want to remove completely csf you can here hit enter it will be removing completely remove directory slash where lib csf is done that's all about the csf configuration thank you for watching this video